ahead, uh, let's take a look at uh, another game going for Sunday. It's the later game. Cardinals playing at Seattle. Big NFC West battle here. Seattle will be at home. Open a three and a half point favorite down to three. The total has come down a little bit from 45 to 44 and a half. The weather reports we get out of the Seattle for Sunday. Uh, looks like a lousy weekend in Seattle. Light rain all weekend, but even Sunday in the morning, and then some light rain in the afternoon. So it's going to be cool and rainy for this game. Certainly a soggy field. Keep that in mind. Uh, the Arizona team in first place in this division. Quarterback Carson Palmer having a great season. 20 touchdowns and six interceptions. A big part of this is that they actually have some balance on offense now. With running back Chris Johnson, their ninth in the NFL in rushing. Johnson averaging 4.8 yards per carry. So they certainly have helped the offensive line, which has been poor the last couple of years. And Johnson has been a terrific uh, addition in the defense, as usual, playing so well for Bruce Arians, number three in the NFL in yards allowed. They're also covering numbers, 22 and 10 spread runs. So Harvard, this team really is doing it all right now. Well, I tell you what, uh, it reminds me of, you know, in the AFC, you've got pretty much Cincinnati is the little brother of New England. They're just doing everything under the radar and stuff like that. Well, Arizona in the NFC, I think they're exactly like Cincinnati Bengals are. Uh, I'm not sure who's on top in the NFC. Maybe everybody talks about Green Bay, and then they talk about uh, Carolina this year. But Arizona, they just stay right under the radar. This is one dangerous team, and I'm telling you right now, they are very good. Uh, like John mentioned, Chris Johnson, a great addition. This guy, Carson Palmer, they're fourth in passing as a team. They're second in points with 33 points per game. The defense, they're like number four, five, seven, nine, and ten in four different categories. But on an average, they're number five overall with the run, pass, and points. And they're coming into this game with double revenge on their mind. They went 0-2 last year to Seattle. Well, a lot of that was because Palmer wasn't around. This is going to be a statement game up there. When you look at the Seattle side, Russell Wilson, to me, continues to struggle with the pass. They're just average. Their offensive line, I would give them maybe a D minus. Uh, Marshawn Lynch, he just gonna run right at you, so you know what you're gonna get with him. He's gonna try to wear you down, but at 3.6 yards per carry, he's gonna have a lot of carries in order to wear you down. I just don't think it's gonna get that. Uh, and if you notice, uh, Arizona's number five against the run, so they have that. So if you look at and match them up, Arizona's offense versus Seattle's defense, let's fine, give them a tie. But Seattle's offense, which I think is very vanilla, very mediocre against Arizona's defense, strong lean towards Arizona. And if you look at the uh, points for this game, I think it's going to be very low scoring. Like they said, it could be in the rain. I think Chris Johnson and Carson Palmer get it. And I just love the points uh, taken in this game. Take Arizona plus the three, three and a half, uh, and double revenge is awfully strong within the division. That's right. Uh, Seattle whipped them twice last year. The Seattle team here at the halfway point, the defending NFC champs are 4-4. Four and four. They've only played three home games, five road games, losing road record, but they are 2-1 and one at home, although they're on a 1-4 and four spread run at home. The offense, as you mentioned, doesn't really have any balance like last year. They're 28th in the NFL in passing. Okay, they're number three in rushing, which is pretty good with 139.5 yards per game, but remember, they averaged 172 last year rushing, so they're down. 33 yards per game rushing, which is what they the only thing they really do on offense. And I blame that on offensive line, which has just been terrible all year with Russell Wilson running for his life. Nine touchdowns, only six picks for him. The defense, though, certainly coming on strong of late. They're number two in the NFL in yards, number two in points, just 17.5 point game points per game. So, Zach, you know, Seattle is really something special at home these last couple of years. This Arizona team is also very good. Yeah, this is going to be a great matchup, probably the best Sunday night matchup since the Green Bay-Seattle game uh, four or five weeks ago. But it's a division game, and if you're looking for an advantage here, the odds makers haven't done a really good job for you. This is a very, very tough spread. You've got a Seattle team that obviously has been great at home in years past. You also have an Arizona Cardinals team that ended their dominance, uh, Seattle's dominance at home when they beat them as double-digit underdogs in December 2013 behind Carson Palmer. Last year, we saw the Cowboys, we saw some other teams do well in Seattle, but I just haven't seen enough from either the Cardinals or the Seahawks to back uh, in this Sunday night spot, especially Arizona. I know they're 6-2, and two, but uh, the teams that they've beaten lately, the Detroit Lions, Baltimore Ravens, they really haven't done it soundly, which they should have. 
and they struggled a little bit on, on the road uh, in games against Pittsburgh and even in the win that they had before their bye week they were down uh, down to who was it Cleveland they were down to them before they came back with a huge second half surge so I'm not sure the Cardinals are in the same position that they were this time last year and obviously you have a Seattle team that's in a must-win situation I think they're two games back of the Cardinals right now in the division so they can they can ill afford to lose this game so for me you got to have a strong strength to put a game in your uh, in your top three, four handicapping plays, and this one won't be it for me. I think the Ozmakers have pinpointed a side of the line. It can go either way, and it probably will be on the last series of the game, swaying on the either side. All right. Well, I like this total to go under even before I found out about the weather. I thought it was a little bit too high, and so I, I like it quite a bit. You got two great defenses playing here. You got a Seattle team that can't pass the football very well. Arizona has balance. They are capable of running. Arizona, when they play on field turf like they will here, 9 3 and 1 run under the total. Seattle for these division games. Boy, does this defense come up, show up to play 10 and 3 under the total when they face the NFC West. And finally, no surprise when these teams meet here in Seattle, 6 and 1 under the total. So that's how I will look at this game. Both teams uh, won't hit to 20 points. Okay.